do the sleeve choke. One of my favorites. Sleeve choke. Sleeve choke is the best. And I, I get it all the time. It's a great choke. So here's what we're going to do. Watch me first. Do this choke. And then you're going to do it, okay? So here we are. First step. Let's get under the head, right? I got to get under the head. So now that I'm under the head, I want to connect my fingers into the inside of my gi. Four. All of them. Four fingers. Not the thumb. Four. Now that I'm here, my wrist must be straight. My wrist can't be bent. This is weak. Weak. Bent wrist. Weak wrist. Straight wrist. Now I want to pass this hand over to the other side and squeeze and pull everything together. But Get our head in the way so they can't see what we're doing. Watch. Look what I do with my head. Scoop back some and I push them with my head. Also, what it does, if their head is here, right, their neck's not exposed. When I use my head, it opens up their neck and it also blinds them from not being able to see what I'm doing. So I'm here like this, connecting, pushing with my head on their head or their chin. And as soon as I do that, it goes whoop! And then squeeze and finish. What can I get this on Landon? Good. Let's do it again. Very good. Yep. Now freeze. That hand Yes, four fingers in. Use your head to push them away. And then slip it through. Good, and squeeze. Very good. You see what I mean by pushing that head out of the way with your head? Just push them and drive their head. Here's my, look. Where do you think would be better, neck, what neck do you think would be better to choke? This neck? Or this neck? So, let's do that sleep choke again five times. Go. Get under the head. Beautiful. Grab the gi. Use your head. Push them away. Good. Get in there. Keep that wrist straight on the bottom. Grab, make a fist. Keep that wrist straight up. Yes. You see the correction? Much stronger now. Now finish. Pull, squeeze. Good. I have a question about this choke. Yes. Which part of your arm is, is choking the most? So I would probably say the blade right here. This blade. Yes, yes. I just used to do that, not use my blade. I mean, that's good, but it's better to use the blade and get it as deep as possible because if you get it deeper, it's better and stronger. This, this over here is stronger than your fingers, right? Go ahead. I've got a smart bell so you can push with. Yes. Way more behind this bone. Beautiful. 
Good. Run it past. Run it all the way up. Good. Yes. Notice your hand is in good position now. Yep. Now squeeze everything together. Good. The only thing I can say is if you can get this, watch here, I'm going to assist you a little bit. Over a little bit more. Done. Squeeze though. Squeeze. Yes. Good. Tap. I know I spelled that wrong. It's my way of spelling. You put an arrow instead of just another cover up. Alright. Gotta talk about this key lock. How to defend it. Okay? The other day I thought you were doing pretty good with that key lock that that um that Landon had, right? You uh it didn't even seem like it was hurting your shoulder or your arm at all, right? Right. It was just your jaw hurt a little bit. Yeah. I'm going to show you something really cool. Okay? It's a really good detail. Fun. Frustrates people. Do you know that I'll let people try to be lucky? I'll let them try. I give them my arm. I give them it. I don't suggest it. But to practice, I put myself in uncomfortable spots so I can work every part of my game, right? So if you're never getting to defend arm bars and defend key locks and, and explore jujitsu as a whole, then you're doing yourself a great disservice. You need to be able to be comfortable putting yourself in an uncomfortable spot. So come here I'm not. I'm gonna let you key lock me. Okay? Go ahead and key lock, Ella. And finish the arm. Okay, we'll go slow, but go ahead. Key lock. Good. What happened there? Weak wow. grips. You gotta have better grips than that. Come on. Hold it tight. Good. Now finish. Very good. Do it over here now. Good, Ella. Yes. Good. Push. Elbow to the head. Come under. Tuck your head so I can't see. The other way. Good. All right, now key lock me. Over here, I'll let you have it. Come on, come on, Ella. Come on. All right, here we go. Right here. Go ahead. Go. Get your key lock. I can't. Why not? Your arm's too tight to the ground. What do you mean? It's too tight. Come on, get your key lock. You have my arm big. You can get it. What's wrong? What's wrong? <laughs> so go back. You're going to frustrate people so bad with this move. The idea is to glue your arm to the mat to the cake under it. Do you understand? You try. I did everything right. I did my move right. Came here. Got it. I pushed your arm down. Boom! Right? I got one grip. Now, I'm going to drop my elbow. Let me drop my elbow. And I'm going to come under. <laughs> what happened? No, nope. don't use too much. But yeah, you're pushing on your legs to make the pressure here. You want the pressure here? Look. Keep it tight. I can't get under now. Now you can trap this foot and just trap and roll. Go. Bump and go. Bump. 
You see? So now the arm was stuck like this. You push it on the mat. Look, guide yourself over a little bit. Sometimes I lift my hips up and I push my weight down on the arm so they can't get under. And guess what they're going to do? What? They're going to give up on the key lock. <laughs> Does that make sense? Let's try it again. They're definitely going to give up on that key lock, I promise you. like glue. They're not going to get past. It's going to be hard. It's going to be really hard for them to get it. They're going to try really hard. They're going to try. Gosh. Before you bump and roll. They're here like this. Both hands are committed. Look. Bump. Take them over. Clear the hook. The hook's there. Clear it up. Boom. Bump and roll them. Cool? Yes. That's one thing I wanted to make sure I went over with you was the key lock defense from mount. Heavy, they can't get under. I don't frustrate them very much. 